Hi friends, in this video we learn about impulse response of the matched filter. So what is matched filter? It is a optimal filter. Optimal matched filter is optimal filter used to maximize SNR or it maximizes signal to noise ratio in the presence of noise. Right? So that is the main thing we have to know about. Uh, match filter okay so what is the impulse response of the match filter the impulse response of the match filter is given by h of t is equal to x of t minus t where x of t is the input signal so what is h of t the impulse response is the mirror image of uh, input mirror image of input signal about Time t. So you see x of x of t is input signal, x of minus t is mirror image. So what is x of t minus t? It is a mirror image at a time instant t. Or we have to shift a mirror image by t unit right. So the impulse response of match filter is the mirror image of the okay impulse response, right? So impulse response is the mirror image of the input signal about time t. So this is very very important equation. Based on this equation, some questions have been asked in uh, some computer exams in ISRO and PR uh, gate. Let us see one question like that. Okay. So what they are giving? Compute the match filter output over zero to t. To the pulse waveform s of t is equal to exponential minus t when t varies from 0 to t and 0 else right so this is a easy question let us solve this so what is the thing they have given input signal s of t so i take that is my x of t x of t is input so that is given by what is this exponential minus t when t varies from 0 to t Zero else. Okay. Next, uh, what I want? They want what is the thing they want? Match filter output. So this is given as input to match filter. This is given. This input is given as given to match filter. What is the output? Y of t. We know for any system, Y of t is equal to x of t star h of t. Convolution between input and the input. Impulse response. This is what in, input. So I want the impulse response. If I know impulse response, then I can find output. Just now only we saw what is the impulse response of match filter. Impulse response of the match filter is equal to in mirror image of input shifted at time t. Okay. So now x of t we know what is x of t. X of t want to know. So h of t is given by uh, what do you call x of t x of t is given by x of t minus t. so x of t minus t is equal to exponential minus instead of t i substitute t minus t right so where t varies from t minus t less than r t okay so that is what my h of t clear so this is equal to this implies h of t is equal to uh, what you get is exponential r e power uh, t minus t when t varies from t minus t to t. Okay, so this we get now if I simplify this, what we get is uh, this t I bring this side, so it is minus t minus t. This t the goes that side means it will become zero. So ultimately, what is the interval for h of t? So h of t is e power t minus t. So if I multiply both both all the side by negative, so it will become zero to t less than. Right? This is what my h of t. Right? So what is my output? So this is what match filter impulse response. So what is my output of the match filter? Y of t is x of t star h of t. Okay. 
So that is given by integral minus infinity tau plus infinity x of tau h of t minus tau d tau. Okay, right. So next to what we have to do? Mm, okay, next uh, x of tau. X of tau we know. What is x of tau? x of tau is e power minus tau, exponential minus tau, where tau varies from instead of t, we put uh, zero to t, right? So this is, you see here, x of t they are given, x of t is e power minus t, where t varies from zero to t. Here x of tau is e power minus tau, where t varies from zero to tau, right? Zero to t, so it is x of tau. Now I want h of t minus tau, for substituting the formula. So h of t minus tau, h of t I know, h of t minus tau means e power t minus tau minus t. So it is e power t minus tau minus t. And uh, this one varies from, again, t becomes t minus tau. So 0 to t minus tau. Okay. So what will happen? This e power t minus tau minus t. This will become minus t less than minus tau zero. So e power t minus tau minus t. If you make everything multiply by minus one, it will become positive side zero to t less than t. So this is what h of t minus. T. Okay, so what is my output y of t? Y of t is minus infinity to plus infinity x of tau. X of tau is e power minus tau h of t minus tau e power t minus tau minus t into d tau. But uh, e power, you know, this is x of tau, this is h of tau, right? I want to find the convolution interval, right? We know x of tau varies between, you see here, <coughs> sorry, x of tau varies between uh, 0 to, just now only we saw, 0 to t, right? So let us assume this is 0, this is t, right? This is what h of tau, uh, sorry, x of tau varies between 0 to t. What about uh, h of t minus tau? Because I am going to have integral or conversion between x of tau and h of t minus tau. h of t minus tau varies between 0 to, okay? So it is h of t minus tau, right? So Okay, 0 to t minus tau. Okay, this will become, oh sorry, here it is minus t, it is t minus t. Please, sorry, change it, t minus t, right? So it will become, when I simplify this, it will go from t minus t to t minus t to t, right? So h of t minus tau varies from t minus t to t. So we know t is less than t. t is less than capital T. That's what they have given in the problem. t is less than t, right? From the problem itself, we understand. Please see here, right? t is less than t. So from the uh, limit, so we understand t is less than t. So this t must be less than t only. So h of t minus tau has upper limit of t. So that should be less than t. Lower limit is t minus tau. Uh, t minus t, right? Okay, so t minus t I can write as so minus t plus t minus capital T plus t. Okay, you may ask uh, this is okay, this is t is less than t. How will you put it is coming this side? For example, let us assume t is phi. If t is capital phi, uh, phi means minus t should be minus phi, right? So it should be minus phi, minus t, minus t should be minus phi. For example, let us assume uh, this t is 3, then minus t plus 3 is minus 5 plus 3, it is 2. Only when t is equal to capital T, that is only when small t is equal to 5, then what will happen? Small t is equal to 5 means t minus t plus t becomes 0, this t becomes 5. So minus t plus t should be less than this, okay, less than 0. So that uh, you see, this blue color is a limit of x of tau. This yellow color is limit of h of t minus tau. So convolution, when the two signals overlap, only this range, the two signals are overlapping. Where 
in between 0 to t. Here, here h of t minus tau is there, but x of t this is 0. Here after x of tau is there, but h of t minus tau is 0. So if you multiply both, it will become 0. So only the overlapping range is 0 to t. So y of t is the interval is 0 to t e power minus tau e power t minus tau minus t d tau. Here e power minus t is constant. Take it outside e power minus t 0 to t. This will become uh, e power what do you call e power t minus 2 tau d tau. Right, minus t, I take it outside, it is t power t minus tau minus tau e power minus 2 tau t minus 2 tau d tau. So it will be e power minus t if you integrate e power t minus 2 tau divided by minus 2 0 to t. Fine. Okay, now what will happen if you substitute e power minus t by 2? If you substitute t is tau is equal to t, it is e power minus t. If you the next to minus tau is equal to 0, it will become e power plus t. So now what will happen if you further simplify e power minus t, it will become e power plus t e power minus t divided by 2. Right. So the answer is what will happen is y of t is equal to e power minus t sin hyper right t right so this is what the output of matched filter for the given input signal right so in this way you have to solve the problem i hope you understand this if you have any doubt please ask me in the comment section i will clarify thank you